Hey ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a Gamers Platoon tutorial. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to work your Procon tool for Battlefield 3. Now, if you have a Battlefield 3 server through Gamers Platoon, then uh, you should have the information to log into your Procon, but maybe you don't know how to use Procon. So the first thing that you're going to do is get Procon. You can Google this, Procon by Frostbite, and um, you can download that. It's free charge. It's a small program, very easy to, uh, to access. So what you want to do is you're going to want to go to Create Connection and fill in the blanks here with the supplied information from Gamers Platoon. Once you have it, you're going to see the thing at the top there, and you're going to go ahead and connect to your Procon layer. And what that will do is that will open up Procon, and um, you will see it here in the box. This is my Procon layer. You'll see I have people in the server here. And uh, the first thing we have is the players list, which shows you all the players in the server and uh, shows you their information, their IDs, um, their uh, origin countries, their score, all the stuff that you need to see about the players that's going on. It uh, helps you identify hackers and things like that. But what you can do is, uh, is from this menu, you can go ahead and uh, kick people. Uh, permanently ban, temp ban, you can give the reasons why you're doing that. Um, you can ban them by the name, IP, GUID, um, you know, so on and so forth. So this offers you the, the ability to manage who is in your server and what they're doing in your server. And then likewise you can do them from Punkbuster as well. Uh, if you do it from this tab, it bans them from the game. If this you do it this way, it bans them on Punkbuster and that will be distributed to their Punkbuster uh, sites. Um, that's basically all that players has to offer. The next part is chat. This is the window where you can use to, to chat to the people in your server from the console if you want to act as an admin. Uh, what you'll do is you'll go to tools, you'll go to um, uh, options here, you'll go to advanced and then you'll click enable admin name on chat message you can unclick that and it will show up as an admin if you leave it clicked it's going to show up on under your name um, which is uh, which is eh, it's okay if you want to be if you're on a marine anonymous then go ahead and unclick that and uh, you nobody will be able to see who's typing in there so you have um, some different messages here to display you can display kills deaths joining leaving uh, you can show who it's going to what audience as far as an individual a side or everybody um, a say is more or less like a message and a yell is uh, flashing on the screen so that's how you uh, you work this chat side it's very easy it's very simple and uh, it's it's good to to be able to 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 say hey you stop doing that um, on the server the next part is the map this is an unused section uh, for for bad comp or excuse me for uh, battlefield 3 we're not going to look at this the next one is the events this is a log of all the events going on in your server shows the kills deaths uh, the plugins that are loaded, who's connecting onto your Procon, um, that kind of stuff. So uh, use this if you're an admin to kind of get a feel of uh, what's going on in the server. Uh, the next part is the list that shows everybody that's banned on your server. You'll see uh, this is the ban list. The next list we have is the map list. shows on the left side all the available maps for the server and their game modes. On the right hand side you'll have the current maps the ones that are currently running on your server and how many rounds that they'll be played and um, you know all this information right here is brought over from this menu it's as simple as clicking and dragging it over and refreshing your server via this button here that's how you set up the map so it's it's simple uh, the next is reserve slots this is uh, where you can enter the name of the player uh, that you want to have a reserve slot on your server maybe they paid for one or maybe you reserve slots for your platoon or your clan whatever um, you put their name in here, add them to the slot, and they'll be able to get into your server at all times, even if it's full. So, that's the lists. You have the, the three main lists there. The next part is the server settings. Uh, the first one is the server name. You can customize this how you like. The description. Um, this message here is the Gamers Platoon message. This is not to be touched. Uh, Gamers Platoon sponsorship includes that you must have this message in your server. So, do not delete this message, or you may get in trouble. So, the next part of the server settings is the configuration. This is where you can configure parts of the game, uh, such as aggressive join, idle kicking, admin passwords, things like that. The next part is the gameplay. This affects all of the settings for your server, whether you have mini maps, kill cams, 
vehicle respawn, bullet damage, players to start, soldier health, all that stuff is right here, easily be editable. Uh, the next part is team killing, simple as that. Uh, you can edit the team kill configurations and then the config generator. Once you have all this stuff from the configuration, gameplay, and team killing set up, it will come into this config generator and you can copy this to your clipboard to send to your friendly clans or whatever if you have a good configuration for your server and people are really liking you know, the way your server is playing. It's as easy as that. The next one is for more advanced users. This is the console commands. If you know console commands, they go here. I'm not going to explain what they are, but uh, if you do know console, it goes here. Um, and here's your Punkbuster console, same deal. Uh, but it also kind of allows you to get a get an idea of what's going on on the back end side of your server. You can see different things loading, uh, different players connecting, so on and so forth. So. The last tab that we have to look at is the plugins tab, and this is um, for you BF admins, uh, where you'll have anti-spam bots, kill trackers, and if you want to see what it is, just click on it, and it tells you what it does, and uh, you know how it works, and why it, you know it's this and that. It's all right here, and the plugins are are fun. They're customizable. They have different ones to do different things, such as kick people out of bases, let vote for map. Uh, occur um, player based welcoming when somebody joins the server you can give them a custom welcome message you know that kind of stuff so this is where you manage all that stuff and if you need more just click more plugins it'll bring you to this website and you can download more plugins so very simple very easy and then there's settings for each plugin here that you can you know manipulate and do what would do what you need to do to uh, to have them go in the right way so the last part that we're going to look at today is the top panel here. You'll see the map, the round. You'll have a refresh to restart the current round. If you're on round one, you press the restart, you'll go back to round one. If you press this blue button, it will go to the next round, which you can use to advance maps. You click it twice and it will go to the next map. If you have two rounds set, if you click it more times, it will advance more rounds and change the map. Uh, you see here where whether it's accepting players, ours is accepting players, you see whether it's running a map pack, uh, so on and so forth, and it's total uptime. Ours one day, 11 hours, 14 minutes. Thank you, Gamers Platoon, for that. So, all in all, easy to use, very simple, very compact tool. Um, please only distribute this to your clan admins, your clan leaders, founders, whatever. Don't let everybody get in here and manage your server because it could it could turn into a nightmare. But for Gamers Platoon. And to the tutorials, that's it for today. You guys have a great day, and hope this Battlefield 3 tutorial really helps you get your server where you need it to be. And we will see you guys next time.